friend rising, my people. Uh, so I've been meaning to make this uh, parasite cleanse. I think I'm gonna use four limes today. Um, so I'm gonna make a parasite cleanse. Um, cilantro, oregano, parsley, and chives. Okay, so uh, let me get like two or three. I'm gonna think I'm gonna use three avocados today. I'm making um, <laughs> some. Uh, oh, I need this green. Onion. I think I'm gonna use the red onion today. So I'm gonna put, you know what? I'm gonna use both. So, <clears throat> oh, and I'm also gonna add some alfalfa sprouts in there. Okay. So here we go. Um, I actually don't need to switch my camera around, but yeah, we're gonna use this red onion, um, three avocados four limes and all of my parasite cleansing herbs so we have again cilantro oregano chives parsley and i'm going to use this green onion as well as the red onion okay okay you guys so i'm looking forward to this Parasite cleansing guacamole. Okay. Um, I just, I don't know where the idea, I don't know if this has been, people have done this before. Um, I was adding my par parasite cleansing herbs into um, the black walnut milk, which does work well. Um, but for some reason, the idea to put it in the avocado and make guacamole. Um, actually came to me the other day when I was making um, a guacamole that I called wild guacamole because I used the green onion instead of the red onion, which is a traditional for guacamole. Um, so this time I'm going to use uh, green and red onions. Okay, so the, this guacamole is going to be even wilder <laughs> than the other one that I made. Okay, and I, I just already can sense that this is going to be delicious. Okay, not only is it going to be delicious, it is going to rid our bodies of parasites. Okay, so I hadn't thought about putting those herbs into uh, the guacamole and, or into the, uh, you know, adding it with the avocado. Uh, but I, like I said, I got the idea and I just feel like this is going to be delicious. So I'm not going to put too much green onion in here. I'll just use this little piece because that's quite a bit of red onions. And so I do want this one to um, have the traditional red onions in it. So I will, um, Put both though because you know I am using three avocados so uh, the onions do give it an amazing flavor so let me get my bowl I didn't even have my bowl ready guess I'll use this bowl that I used the other day um, so this is uh, more red onion than green onion a little bit more red Okay, and then I'm also going to add into this guacamole. Now, before I put all my, put my um, avocados in there first, um, these alfalfa sprouts. Now, they come like this, but I still like to rinse them off. Okay, alfalfa sprouts, um, again, can be a replacement for the protein that you think you're missing from meat. If you're attempting to um, have a frugivore diet, I am going to rinse this off. Because I just believe in cleaning your vegetables, making sure that your food is clean, doesn't have anything, you know, just makes me feel better to rinse things off so that I know that everything is as clean as it can be going into my body. That is a beautiful pile of alfalfa sprouts, okay? And then we want to add the rest of our herbs in here. So what I'm going to do is put the herbs on the get them all out and then I'm going to also rinse these okay so again this is uh, parsley, 
chives. Okay. Parsley, chives, oregano. All of these are very aromatic herbs. And if you notice, you know, as herbalists, we don't really do a lot of measuring because it's it, a lot of this is intuition, intuitively knowing how much you need. And, um, you know, it's almost impossible <laughs> to overdose on a good thing, okay, on, on something that is um, of this high vibration. So these herbs are beautiful green. I'm going to rinse these off. Okay. And again, um, rinsing is just something that we've always been taught to do because, you know, it helps to raise the vibration. If there is anything foreign that has been, um, you know, attached to these herbs in the process of getting to me. Wow. This pile of herbs smells so amazing so these are these herbs do equate to being a parasite cleanse and the way that they smell i can already tell that they are going to make an amazing guacamole okay so again chives oregano green onion uh, parsley and cilantro very aromatic blend of herbs okay so before i even get um to the you know get into it i am so proud of uh this this guacamole before i even make it okay because this is powerful i mean the smell like wow i wasn't even expecting it okay um i bought these particular avocados because they were soft enough for me to just squeeze it out of the shell so they are like guac ready okay so uh, I like to be able to do that when I'm making guacamole instead of having a hard time. So there are times when I will purposely pick a softer avocado so I can do this with it, okay? And again, before I even taste it, I mean, the smell of these herbs is, <laughs> it's amazing. Like just smelling these herbs is raising my vibration, okay? And so the last thing that I'm going to add once I get these, I thought I had picked uh, three avocados out of the refrigerator. Let me rinse my hands off again. Okay, so I'm going to add these three avocados out of the refrigerator. I'm going to get another avocado out of the refrigerator because I have a bit of herbs and onions in here in the bowl. And so I do want to have a nice balance of the avocado along with the other herbs. But like I said, the herbs are so aromatic, which mean they, they smell the aroma of the herbs literally is raising my vibration uh, without it. So soft avocados do have their purpose, okay? Uh, most people like to get their avocados in a, you know, a firm, but again, if you're trying to make guacamole, pick the softer ones. You know, they're still going to be good to use if you use them within a day or two of purchasing them. So now let's add, uh, I, I kind of want to smash this a little bit and blend some of these herbs in with the avocado. And then I'm going to add my four key limes. And I may even get, oh my God, I can smell, this is gonna be so good. Like it, it looks beautiful and it's gonna be, it's going to taste even more amazing, okay? So again, I added all of the Parasite Cleanse herbs in here. I added green and red onions and my secret weapon, alfalfa sprouts, okay? So this is a mega um, superfood guac with a parasite cleanse base, okay? I am proud of this guacamole that I am making right here. Uh, the last one that I made that I called a wild guacamole, 
because I had used green onions and added alfalfa sprouts into it. I used, I think three, um, the last one that I made, I ate it all in one sitting. So these are Mexican key limes, okay? So they're smaller than the average lime and they have like a lemony lime color. They're like kind of greenish, uh, yellow green. So they, they, they look like a lemon and a lime at the same time. And I'm just gonna squeeze the juice in here. Uh, again, I may get another one. It just depends on what my intuition says. The last one I made, I had used just the right amount of limes. That uh, guacamole was so delicious that I ate it all in one sitting. This one is going to be even more delicious, even more exotic, because again, it has all this, this beautiful blend of fresh herbs, onions, and alfalfa sprouts. So... I'm very proud of this recipe. I don't know if anyone has ever made it uh, like this before, but for me, it's new. I don't mind the seeds going into my guac, uh, but if you, you know, if you're worried about the seeds <clears throat> being in there, um, definitely remove them from your limes first. Uh, I don't mind them being in there. I'm not gonna eat them, but you know, I can remove them as I'm eating it. <laughs> Okay, but I, I do, uh, you know, you can, you can, of course, remove the seeds before. So for me, I just like being like raw, you know, uh, and just leaving everything. Again, do not eat the seeds from your limes, okay? Okay, so that is... What did I put in here? Four key limes. I'm feeling like I want to add one more. So I'm going to get one more. This looks amazing. Look at that. Doesn't that look like an amazing guacamole so far? Yeah. Another key lime. I think that's one finished off. Okay. So this is how they look before I cut it. Mexican key lime. Very powerful. Uh, energizer for the body okay electrical food my favorite color of a yellowish green okay to me this color represents life you know it represents clean energy it represents electricity and you know it also represents deliciousness, <laughs> okay? Uh, because, you know, the limes to me are like the key component in a good guacamole, giving it that tang that we love. This looks absolutely amazing. I can tell that it's going to be amazing. And again, I'm proud of it before I even try it, simply because of everything that's in it, okay? So look at that. It looks and smells amazing. So I got my blue corn chips, and I can't wait. So this is my sea salt, and I am gonna add um, just a little bit of sea salt in here to, to perk up the flavor, okay? The sea salt was made from evaporated seawater. just a very you know small amount to bring out the flavor even more because this is absolutely delicious very unique tasty guacamole well, let me wash my hands real quick because i got guacamole juice all over me avocado Parasite cleansing guacamole. Mm. I can't stop eating it, y'all. <laughs> this is absolute 
perfection. Mmm. So good. Total perfection. Okay. It tastes very fresh. Very green. Mmm. Tangy. Aromatic. Delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Peace.